Yeah, yes, sir. Go ahead. Now. So I have a fact. I have product uh, dimension along with that. I have product subtype. Then I have product type. So this is the structure. So when you have the first snowflake schema, you have like this. You have fact orders two. Then you have product. Then you have subtype then you have type which is a type aggregate so it is joined like this like this so if i bring in one more fact here I can do that. This is see, there is nothing wrong in doing that. Okay, but what I wanted to do, I want to keep this as a separate star, and I want this type to be a separate star for one more aggregate type. Okay, so for yeah, that reason, exactly. yeah, yeah, for that reason, we just made this. Otherwise, there is no specific thing actually. Even if you pull data for type, and uh, uh, if you even if you join like this and define it, it will still give the same thing. Okay. Okay. But uh, yeah. suppose a scenario where you have product type and subtype. Because you you remember aggregate two is joined like this. Fact aggregate two is again joined to this table on the product. Do you remember that? Because fact yes, aggregate two no. is present at product detail level, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you can you can still do that, but to make it a completely different, entirely a different star, I can do do that. So you can keep it like that, or for better better readability or better understanding, you can keep it as a separate alias table also. There is nothing wrong. I think separate one is a good idea to good idea to make it completely pipeline. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You can do that. Okay. Okay. And why why were the keys from the aggregate table deleted from the time dimension or product dimension don't we need primary keys for those aggregates as well no no, no you, you need no, you don't you don't uh, require we don't uh, take keys or all those from aggregates it is just a normal time dimension and we do take all the keys and everything from there itself. okay yeah we don't really and care for this Sales representative key. I uh, added the extra column uh, okay. in my database, and okay. so in my physical layer, okay. I added that particular column. Okay. But while populating it, when I was making a join, it shows like uh, multiple rows we are getting from the source table, like not a stable set of rows. Because whenever I make a join, it is giving me for the same join multiple rows. So I was not able to update uh, my uh aggregate table for sales representative key okay just a second let me try it out here let me try it out on my screen and also the consistency of my repository is failing so i i am not able to understand the error properly okay. can you please also look into it sure we'll check Can you ping your query here to my chat window? Uh, actually, I try to. It is at my remote machine, so I was not able to copy it from there. I can give you one second. I can type it and then give you. Just hold on for a minute. Just hold on for a minute. I'm typing sure, sure, sure. manually. Yeah, no issue. No, I'm just taking the query from here. Select. We have around ten thousand rows. Select.
can pick employee key from employee which is a comma t1 yeah i made it order aggregate one which is b where a dot tmpl underscore employee name equal to t1 p dot uh, what is that key p dot rep key rep key yeah i i pinged you in the chat no issues one second so now i should almost hit aggregate one yeah Rep key invalidate. What is that key name? Just copy my query to your toad. One to your SQL developer. Okay. Key dot it. underscore rep key only. Underscore underscore. Rep underscore key. No no there is no underscore. There is underscore uh, prop in my table. I can see R E P underscore key. Here only R E P oh. key is there. Really? How is it working at my end then? Okay, okay, no issues, no issues. No D one order aggregate. Are we joining with sales representative only? You, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, employee. Instead of employee, go for this one. D one. Sales reps. even sales rep uh, what is the employee 24 for a gates right is properly there let me copy this i think this might have some oh, okay you understand this do you see this why this is happening this 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 yeah this has space okay so what i can do trim my trim to it yeah, yeah upper of red key So now just let me go through the employee.
Yeah, now this should work. Okay, you are not getting you even you, you are not getting a single record also, right? No, I am getting records. I was getting records. My question is, whenever I try to update, okay, uh, I I ping you the query in the chat, right? So whenever I try to update, it it brings the multiple rows from the source itself. Okay, like so this. You uh, did you do, did you do like this? Insert into. Okay, now let me create one more uh, 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 dummy column. Okay, alter okay. table d1 order aggregate one. Huh? Add. Yeah, yeah. Um, suppose say rep key duplicate. Hmm. Huh? As. Yeah. Number is twenty. You can take or ten. Table is altered. Okay. Now, right. Insert into day one order aggregate one. Rep key duplicate. Instead of this, what we can do set. Yeah, pardon me. No, no, no. I'm just thinking. Did you try like this? Uh, update. I tried with this. update. Do you wanna set? This was trying like not a stable set of rows, multiple rows we were getting. Okay, then let me try with delivery. Insert into D1 order select. Okay, we we'll try this. But here we are not inserting into rep key. This means it is. Update this set.
No, I remember I did something. Get even after aggregate one. Or if you can give me the insert scripts, we we I can run that as well. Okay, we we will see that later. Okay, just keep this in mind. Just take this query. I'll prepare this insert and we'll give you later. Okay, after some time. Hmm? Okay, okay, no problem. Yeah, we'll continue with our session. Then we'll just see. And uh, this thing, Pratap, uh, what happened yesterday? Quick question, okay? Then yeah. we'll continue with our session. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, yeah, yesterday when I was working on it, uh, I did not delete the uh, keys from the aggregate tables, right? Okay. okay. So uh, I was, I mean, when I clicked for the uh, consistency. I was getting some error. Uh, I was not able to understand that. I wanted to show it to you, uh, but then after that, I deleted the uh, keys from the aggregate tables, okay. uh, and after that, it passed the consistency check. Yeah. So I was little. Why? Why was it happening? I mean, if I keep the keys <coughs> from the no, generally you will have only one key. <coughs> generally, you will have only one key at a logical table level. Which is the most detailed? Level. Won't it behave yeah. as opposite key if I key from both the aggregate and the normal table? Uh, you you can keep it, but see, it goes and uh, what happens, right? It goes and places in the other uh, this one uh, a month uh, month aggregate level, I guess. So it goes and fits and it becomes a primary key or something there. Only uh, one key can be there, I guess, at detail level. I am not exactly sure on that part because again we can uh, re-pull and just check. We will check on that part actually. No issues, okay? Okay. Yeah. But generally we don't take keys like that. We will have only one de uh, detail level key and we will go with that. Yeah, actually my. My main motive was to understand the no, in a, yeah, yeah, in a table, in a dimension table, you can only have one, uh, you can have multiple keys, but all the keys should be present at most uh, detail level, like the same level. If you are defining something at uh, product key or something like that, you should have uh, even other keys if you are defining something like that, you should have same number of rows or at least at the same level. If you are doing something as like month aggregate again, month aggregate will have very few values and uh, that is not the correct key for your time dimension. So obviously you can throw out a warning or error message. So we'll check on that part. So this, uh, this is not possible like if one key is defined at the level of aggregate, the other one is at the detailed level. So it will it will cause an issue, right? Yeah, yeah it, 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 it should cause an issue, yes. Fine. Okay, Pratap. Yeah, so today let us see about uh, modeling M to M relationship or many to many relationship between if there is a many to many relationship between two tables. Then how to handle it in our RPD. Okay, so we have a concept called as bridge table. So what happens in bridge table? In bridge table we do store, we will have a primary key for the table. And we do store foreign keys from both M to M related tables or N to N related tables. For example, what happens? Suppose say in my scenario, in our scenario, what we have? I have a table called sales representatives and I have one more table called as commission, which is a fact table. One sales representative, tell me, one sales representative can do business with n number of customers. With each customer, he is entitled, entitled to get some commission amount on the business what he does. And customer A, suppose say customer A, he is not only paying commission to one sales representative. Suppose say sales representative A is a guy who is selling bakery products to one restaurant. And one more sales representative for same our company is selling different type of product. He may he may be entitled to get again some commission amount. So how how the join is? 
join is like this we have a particular sales representative table and we have commission table and we have certain entries here sales rep 1 sales representative 2 and i have sales representative 3 okay here i have commission amount 1 these are different types of commissions okay commission 2 commission 3 like this. so what we are discussing is sales representative may get commission 1 or commission 2 depending on the business that he does with your customer table okay your customer table again will have so many number of customers he is not only involved with one customer he might be he might be involved in different types of customers like customer 1 customer 2 and so on he might be doing business with any customer your fact table your each customer will give certain amount of commission your cust commission and customer are joined again okay now there will be certain fixed commission amount with respect to each customer right so commission one will be given by customer one or commission two will be given by customer two and customer three like this my sales representative can get commission from both the customers commission one commission two. similarly customer one that is like commission one can be given to even sales representative two as well as sales representative three also so do you understand one commission can be given to different types of sales representatives and different types of sales representatives may be involved in different types of commission this is a m to m relationship between two tables okay there is no rule like sales representative one can only get commission one sales representative one can only get commission two there is no such rule he may be in whatever business he does with different types of customers he may be entitled to get different types of commission amounts. and there is no rule like commission one should be only given to one guy the same commission can be given to multiple sales representative depending on the business all right so like this if you have a scenario like this we have a concept called as bridge table which comes in between these two tables this uh, this table has a separate primary key on its own this we call it as a bridge table and so even your fact table will act as a primary key table for this one and even your dimension table will act as a primary key table uh, foreign key uh, primary key table for this table and what does your bridge table do it will store sales rep one sales rep two sales rep three commissions involved in the business so both the primary keys will be stored now how do you handle this type of scenario in your rpd okay for this what we do let us open RPD in online mode. Sir, can you please ex explain the role of bridge table? How will it resolve it? Yeah, so do you know about anything about intersection table in Siebel? Intersection table or... So what does generally... Yeah, yeah, what does it generally do is... Suppose, sir, let me take an Excel sheet. Otherwise, let me... Uh, take out this and just let me show you how it is. I want an Excel sheet. Okay. So just observe in Excel sheet. Suppose say your sales rep has sales rep 1. It will have only primary keys. Your sales rep will have, it's a dimension, it will have. And your fact commission will have each fact and it's uh, like it's uh, this one. It's corresponding. Uh, customer who has given that okay now just observe data in commission also just before that let me open this and just show you some data you will get an idea how it is so just keep in mind that it contains both the primary keys of two different tables instead of joining your uh, primary key foreign key it just contains both so what we do 
import metadata go for commission commission bridge sales rep table okay just observe data okay right click just observe data for this so do you have some commission amount in your commission table there is something called commission key and each customer who is giving this commission amount. so for each invoice number your invoice number will act as a primary key for this table right so for any invoice number for each deal a sales representative is doing this by this customer will be entitled to you subtract commission amount suppose say 3118 and 3118 you see this he has given his commission amounts 22000 and 22000 twice uh, are for two sales representative for a single invoice number do you see this for a single invoice number the same customer is giving two commission keys he has two commission keys and the commission amount he is paying is twice so this customer is always entitled to pay with this commission key okay and you have one more customer 1098 and 1098 is involved in paying with different types of commissions like 1010 and 1212 for different invoices okay anything can happen like this now sir what is commission key is in office no no uh, what is the question the commission key the row row of commission key here okay see why why we are storing storing this commission keys now suppose say i i felt that there is an mtm relationship i cannot simply uh, take make a direct join between my sales representatives and my commission table so what we are doing we are making one prime commission key as like a primary key here and what we do we store one more every all other data in my commission bridge table just here Sir, invoice number we are using as a primary key and that too it has duplicate values so how would it work as primary key in joining it uh invoice number no 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 we don't use invoice number so com commission key is also repeated right oh. if yeah. same commission 20000 is given to two different uh, persons so that would be having the same commission key or a different commission no no if 20000 is given to two different per persons but yeah. commission key is same right so it won't act as a primary key no um, here you can see that they are two together right ah this will this will have that is what i am telling your bridge table suppose say what 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 happens see 11111 11111 is a commission key which is present in your commission table and this is even joined to your sales representative table this guy alan zip will, will also be repeated here so your alan zip is involved in taking multiple commissions 1919 as well as 1111 and if he is entitled to take some, uh, some more commissions also he will be under, he will be taking them so all your commission keys also will be repeated and your sales representative keys also will be repeated here but with respect to commission table just observe data uh with respect to commission given suppose this 1111 right so who 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 has given this 1111 commission 
Alan Fife has taken this. And one more guy. See this one 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 one. Any time one 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 is involved, twenty two thousand is the amount that is being paid. Okay. And the same customer one 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 eight is paying this. Okay. Just see this. So he is only is. Uh, and customer can also pay this same amount, twenty two thousand, and its commission key would be one 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 only. uh yeah it can because be this commission key is associated with commission amount that is unique yeah, yeah exactly so for that each amount yeah for that is independent of your customer correct so if you are saying a particular commission key that will be involved with the amount correct okay so 1111 if suppose say this customer is paying what i what i will do This customer key will be joined to customer dimension table. This is a fact table, right? Right? Commission is fact table, right? Yeah, commission is a fact. This is a foreign key uh, column, customer key. Customer. Yeah. So for each one 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 eight, suppose say I want one 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 eight. How much commission is paid? I'll say twenty two thousand plus. Again, go for one 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 eight. Where is this guy? Nineteen. Yeah, here. So this much amount plus this much. So everything he is paying commission amount twenty two plus twenty two plus twenty two, and this commission is not like this is not only paid to one customer, one sales representative. This may be again split to multiple sales representatives. This one 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 when I see in my commission bridge table, This one 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 is split among Alan Ziff and Andrew Taylor, and they are sharing fifty fifty percent. Point five weight factor. How much you want to give to each of your sales representative? You are doing here, okay? And this one triple two is given to Ann Johnson and Anna Williams like this. So it's like uh, weight factor also may differ. And this is not like this. How this? Sales representation, sales rep key is coming uh, to the bridge table. From which table it is coming? Yeah, this table will be joined to D1 sales reps. Uh, do you have D1 sales reps? Yeah, here. To this table, this will be joined. Here, sales rep sales representative is a primary key. So one commission can be attached to multiple. Salesperson. Yeah. So Alan Ziff. So for example, take Alan Ziff. He might be involved in just go through commission bridge table, view data. This guy may be involved in Alan Ziff is involved in one 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 commission also, and also is involved in one nine one nine commission also. Right. Right. Okay. And this is not like restricted here. He may be involved in multiple commissions. Again, some more commissions if you are adding, he can still be involved in that. And what is this one 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 amount? This one one amount will be coming from your commission table. So this one 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 is always a commission which is paid by this customer. Triple two is a commission which is paid by this customer. And you can see one zero nine is yeah one zero nine eight is paying two different types of commissions. One is one zero one zero and one is one two one two. The first column is amount, right? Yeah, this is amount, correct. So the one zero one zero one two one two these are also amount. No, no, these are commission keys. I am telling different types of commissions. So you see, whenever one zero nine eight customer comes, you have one zero one zero and one zero one two. Okay, that means this customer is entitled to pay different type these two different types of commissions. So I'll make with Walmart. Rent is different. Yeah, with with Walmart, I always take thirty percent, twenty percent commission. Suppose say I have something called uh, one more. Uh, suppose say well point or something like that. I take ten percent commission because there my sales are more. Okay. So each customer will be entitled to pay certain amount of commission when certain amount of business happens. Right. It's always standard. Suppose say you are doing one lakh with SBA, you make ten percent. With HDFC it may differ. With ICICI it may differ. Okay, if you have a loan agency and if you are processing loans to their uh, 
from certain banks. The commission amount that you get from each amount, each bank is always standard. Like SBI will always give you 5%, HDFC will always give you 10%, like that. So the 10% or 5% are the amount, like for 1 lakh this much, or 2 lakh this much, or the commission key that you are giving is like this. So for each invoice that you are doing, he is paying certain commission amount may differ, just don't give like 22,000. Invoice number is, suppose say you are making for a standard number of sales, that is the, but commission key will always remain the same. Commission amount may still differ. Commission key is always either 10% or 5%, that is commission key is always standard. Okay. And how you are defining this weight factor again? You are making a join with your commission bridge table and this 1111 is joined there with commission key. So, uh, what happens? Are customer table and sales representative table joined with each other? No, through commission factor. Those two cannot be joined. Okay. Ah, uh, pardon? No, they don't have common car. They don't have common car. But they should have, no, because each customer is paying some commission to the representative, his representative, right? So ha, that, that, uh, each commission, that is why the join is through commission fact table. Two dimensions may be joined. See, some product may be so, so, sold to some customer, that, but there is no join between product and customer, right? So where are we capturing that? In a fact table, in a sales fact table. Via fact. Yeah, via fact, correct. So always your dimension join comes through a fact. Okay. Now, now, just let us make a join between these tables. Before that, let me create alias tables for this and just observe how it is. So, let me create alias tables for fat T1 commission. So bridge table you will still take it as a DMD1 commission bridge. So this is little confusing, <laughs> but yeah, just keep in mind if there is an M2M relationship between two tables, both the keys will be pulled in here into a normal, into a common table and you will just make it as an intermediate table between those two tables and just use that for your join criteria. So instead of joining your commission and sales reps directly, directly you join it through your commission bridge That is what you should understand here. DM commission bridge. Sir, what did you tell about weight factor? What is it? A uh, weight factor is like how each commission can be shared, commission amount can be shared or split between two different sales reps. See, here uh, the uh, number of records are limited only for our uh, understanding purpose. Generally, they, they, there will be multiple combinations with each uh, commission amount. Each, see, if you are doing business with, uh, uh, suppose, say, any uh, SBA, your uh, region manager may get 5% uh, of the business share that you are doing, and you may get 50%. Out of 20%, SBA gives. 5% may go to your manager and 15% might come to you. So commission key is same. Commission is whatever to SBA it is a single record. Invoice number is they are paying 1111 and 20. 20% 20, 20 of the 20, suppose say 20,000. But what you are doing in the commission bridge table, uh, you are uh, splitting it as so even your manager name and your name will be there. Both are taking the same commission amount like 1111, 1111. The total amount in 1111 is 20,000, right? And weight factor is 5% to your manager, 15% to you. And what is this 1111 amount is getting co coming from? Coming from commission table, 20,000 rupees, that amount is coming. So multiply with weight factor, you are uh, you will be getting the eligible amount that you are entitled. You are getting? Yeah. Yeah. So now yeah. let us... Yeah, go ahead. No, it's fine. 
we got yeah, it okay, okay now make a join between your commission bridge to your sales rep with sales rep and sales rep and here from commission key to your commission key. okay like this so this will act as a table which contains both the foreign keys your commission fact table is also act, acting as a primary key table for this intermediate table and your sales rep also will act as a primary key table because obviously each sales rep may be involved in taking multiple commissions alliance is involved in taking 1111 1010 any different types of commissions and your fact d1 commission also will have your commission amount with respect to a particular customer right and each customer may be involved in paying the commission multiple times but it will be a standard like 1111 amount will be standard okay if he is paying through 1212 uh, different customer or different commission so obviously what happens each sales representative will be suppose a sales representative along with is involved in taking some commission with some weight factor right so he will be calculated against all the values so we'll just observe that now you have your commission and everything ready so what you do just pull your sales rep here and pull your fact commission here make a join between these two and what about the bridge table bridge table will come as a logical table so new logical table here under inner join otherwise you won't, you cannot make any join with your sales representatives it will throw no uh, dimension table exists no fact table exists at the level uh, request level of detail that error message will okay so just delete all the columns create a new logical column called as commission amount click okay and from sales rep just make sure okay sales rep key is already there just rename all this yes yes any it's not required you can delete it region also you can rename if you want and you can rename this as well and commission amount is already there and if you want you can rename this tm iphone sales rep and this one as fact commission bring sales rep and commission to your presentation layer and your commission amount is there sales rep is there fine check in the changes and one more thing we forgot here one second no issues one more thing i forgot i forgot to make my commission table fact d1 commission and d1 customer join physical diagram corrected objects so how these two are joined with customer new key and customer key right check it and fact commission and customer are joined in business layer also selected table supply selected table just make a new join between your commission and this right you can make changes okay so i created a column for commission amount but did i map it to anything no go to column source edit this go to physical expression this one will come from commission amount into weight factor okay 
click OK. And your aggregation thing will be sum for this. Click OK. Check in the changes and check consistency. So it's, uh, it's available for queries now. Just check in the changes and we'll see. So all this remains standard. Creating aliases, joins, pulling it to here, pulling the source and uh, everything, pulling it to presentation, everything remains the same. If we only join fact and dimension in, in the physical layer and not in the logical, then ah, it to the presentation. <laughs> No, no, it will not work. It, it will not even join. And how will you pull it to PMM layer? It will throw out error message if the tables are not joined. Because underlying on physical layer, they are joined. So I yeah, yeah, but without BMM, if the BMM cannot identify how to go through your uh, tables, it will not worry whether physically it is joined or not. Okay, let, let me open my application. Let me check how much Alan Ziff is getting. Alan Ziff and Commissioner, I want. Okay, so go for web logic. Welcome one. Go for new analysis. Supplier sales. Okay, just load your sales representative, fact, commission, commission amount and let me filter it for one guy, Alan Ziff. So I want to just check how much your Alan Ziff is getting and how much oh. your Alan Ziff is involved in getting this. Just click OK. So he is getting 69,000 dollars as his commission so just check in your tables also we'll just check here have your commission bridge table is present so your allowance if is involved in triple one 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 as well as one nine one nine okay and uh, just see if it is present here somewhere no and yeah in co commission table just check. Your 1111, your, see, your Alan's if is joined to 1111 as well as 1919. And just check how many places 1111 is present. 22, 22, 3 places. 22. And 1919? 1 place. 25. 2 places. Two. And 25, how much? 50. And one more is? One more is 66, right? Is that all or do you have something yeah. else? 69 it was showing, right? So do we have something more here? One 22, 22. 
22 3 times and, uh, and, and 19 and do you have what? 1 4 only 4 uh? 1 2 3 4 4 right 88 and where is 1919 present? Here, here, anywhere else? That's it. 88 plus 50. 88 plus 50. 88 plus 50,000. And how much is entitled to get? What is the weight factor? 50 percent, 50 percent, divide by 2, that, that is the amount that is entitled, 69,000 dollars, okay. So your commission table will track each invoice for each deal that you are doing, how much each customer is paying, your customer is a foreign key here, multiple entries may be there, your customer, customer may be doing multiple transactions with respect to invoice, so invoice with respect to one invoice, you can see uh, 293 invoice is there and see here 1118 and this guy 1118 is again see doing this 293 with commission amount 22k. See here they are doing one mistake here again in this table. What they can do say this is a duplicate record right 22 1111 1118 293. Fact table also will not have duplicates also at least primary key will differ. See this again they are doing. Why they are doing like this is just to tell that this commission amount is split between two people. They are not differentiating it here how it is split. There, there should be one more column at least with respect to sales rep or with respect to something else. They are missing out that here. That is the reason we are getting confused. What they can do? You 113293 and one commission amount and just check the period date. See on the same date they are doing. So this is the mistake. Instead of doing like this you can join this right. 22 plus 22, 44. Again, in the commission amount in the weight factor, it can be split. Right? So, I don't know why these guys are doing like this, but this is just for testing purpose. See, again, on the same day for same transaction, he is making one more 22,000 also. So, the data is not so accurate. It's not perfect. But the concept is like, each customer with respect to a particular invoice number will be entitled to give some commission amount. Right? And with some commission key. And each sales representative are entitled to get some commission with respect to your commission. So, whatever what your commission vegetable will have with respect to one sales rep, sales rep is also, is also repeated. Right? And your commission values are also repeated. Because for one sales rep multiple and for one commission multiple sales rep. Same thing. And this is done through your commission bridge table. So you are making an M2M relationship between using your commission bridge table. Both the tables fact as well as dimension will act as primary key table. And in between you have foreign keys. So obviously all the values will get captured. Right? So with, when you say one sales rep, correspondingly all his commissions will go and hit your commission table. All will be summed up and based on the weight factor you will get his amount. His amount. Right? You are getting that. Right? Like that. Okay? So, 1111 like this. So, he will be going and he will be always verified with this table again and again. So, this may have multiple. Your 111 is also repeated here. But don't tell 111 is a, a foreign key here. So, with respect to your sales representatives, it, it may have n number of values. So, it is still going and referring this table and getting, summing up all the values. Okay. Fine. Yeah, got it, brother. Yeah. So here, see, uh, you might get confused. Two nine three is there again. Two nine three is there. Same period key is there. There is no record which can differentiate this and this. There is no point in giving like this also. If you give a single record, give forty four thousand. How much a particular is paying? That is still fine because there is no need to split until then. See, if you are at least having something called SRF key here. And even if you are not joining, at least it can differentiate which customer is taking how much. 
But you are not even doing that, and if you are just doing this, this is there is something wrong in there, no issue. Okay. But idea is to when to handle end to end to end relationships, you should have a bridge table. That's okay. right. Right. Yeah. Now let us see one more concept. Uh, a concept we call it as implicit fact column so a basic topic so what happens is suppose if you have dimension only queries and your dimension tables are joined like this suppose i have d1 i have d2 and i have fact tables two fact tables f1 and f2 so just you can identify like this d1 D2 and I have F1 and F2. So in this scenario, can someone tell me if you are pulling data from D1 and D2, will it go through F1 or F2? Suppose that D1 is customer, D2 is product, D F1 is sales, F2 is something called revenue. Which table it goes through? D1, D2, F1, F2. Will it generate? Will your OBA generate two queries if I pull data from D1 and D2, or will it be a single query? If it is a single query, what is the reason? Can't say. How will it route? Okay, can't say. You can say it. You can always. What does OBA do? Is it goes through most economical path. That means a table which has less number of records. Okay, so if F1 has ten thousand records and F2 has five thousand records, always your query dimension will occur. That means if you are pulling something from D1 and D2, it always goes through F2 only. So if I want to make the query go through F1, right? I I can use the concept of implicit fact call. Okay, so how to do that? For this, pull out your fact table. It goes equal number of records. It goes. If both have equal number of, both have ten thousand records, both the fact tables. Ah, uh, very good question. <laughs> Then it goes through. Ah, uh, yeah. See, if both has equal number of records, you have this aggregation content and everything set right. And if both have detail, and if both are detail again, then there is no point in having two tables for the same data. Right? Different data. Yeah. Yeah, because so it will always go through aggregated one because it would be having less number of records. Aha, uh -huh, less number of records. Correct. Again, it goes through goes and check your aggregation content. So one table may be joined to two dimensions and one more table might be joined to three dimensions, right? We can force it to go to the go through the fact table with more number of records. Yeah, you can force it. Yeah, that is what your implicit fact column does. Yeah, because if you if you are looking at product and customer, all your product information might not be coming, right? Because if you go through less number of records, some some records will be missed out in dimension only queries. You are, you understand that, right? Because foreign keys will be missing in the table which has less number of foreign keys. If it goes through a table which has more number of foreign keys, all the products and customer will be picked up. So see. returns will have customers who are returning your products all customers might not return your products right so if you are getting some order from flipkart 95% everyone will take it only 5% will people will give it back so when i want product and customer who has returned this it will be still through fact sales table your uh, it will be joined through your sales table only and how many records it will give you if it goes through i, I want to track product and customer i just want to track product and customer so how will it track if it is going through my return table it will have very less number of rows and only 5% of customer and product information you can capture what about remaining 90% of this so instead of doing this if you if your query is going through sales table it will have all the records and you can capture all the product and customer information you are getting it so uh, if you are not defining your implicit fact column what does your oba query do it goes through returns only the fact table which has less number of rows because it can give you results faster 
and because you are you are not involving any of the fact table in between you are only taking records from both the dimensions product and customer right in this scenario only conflict comes if you are involving any fact table obviously that is fine it goes to your fact table only. right fine you understood that right okay yes sir yeah so now for this purpose what i want to do let me pull out returns table into my physical layer how to do that just right click on supplier cp import metadata click on next so this should be your you should be very comfortable it should be faster here go to supplier to pull your returns table okay make an alias for this and make a join to your customer and product how to make a join already your product table is already there your customer table is also already there d1 customers d1 products fact returns physical diagram selected objects make a join to your fact table like this new join from returns to customer using your new key and customer key and with product product key and prod key here okay and just do your you can pull your fact returns into your bmm layer rename it okay and now just make a join to your customer and product business model diagram selected tables so your customer already came in so no issues it's okay so and pull your fact returns to your supplier sales and you have so many columns here delete all this customer key invoice number period key position id fraud key all this you don't require actually delete them rename this okay check in the changes check consistency meanwhile just observe the diagram here fact returns fact sales in customer and product how it is business model diagram selected tables this if fact returns da in product da in customer so do you have this scenario where you have product and customer but it is through two fact tables different fact tables now what we do just observe your query here payload server metadata go to criteria remove all the columns pull customer and what products he is taking just observe total how many number of records we have changes are not picked up
and what you can do, you can reload files and metadata again. So changes are saved, right? Yeah. So just go through this. New analysis, supplier sales, from customer, go to customer name, product, go to specific, click on results, and just make content plainly instead of scroll bar click on done okay just let me observe this 500 rows i have go to administration and check the query how it is generally it should go through returns table okay i don't know if the changes are picked up or not let me check it here okay still it is going through orders table that means it is not proper not proper okay so what i do let me restart my opm and ctl components So log into WebLogic. Welcome one. Just go for new analysis for customer, customer, product, specific. Click on results. This is not proper. product and customer dmd1 products dmd1 customer tag d1 products it's not it is a tag column not set
Specific is coming from D1 product only, right? Type will come through. Okay. Okay. Shut up specific. Sitting cash. Don't worry, sometimes <laughs> this behaves like this. So just you have to be patient, you know, product specific. Very related methods will be coming. Okay. So go to customer, customer, product specific. Now I think this is going properly. I'm not sure. Just check, we'll check it. Done, done. Okay, do you see? Okay, do you see the total? Number? Yeah, do you see this total number of records? Yeah, 263. Yeah, go to administration, just check the query. It will be through your uh, returns table only. Should be through your returns. So, do you see this? Yes. Yeah. So, to avoid this and to just forcibly send it through fax sales, what we have to do? There is just click on your subject area. So, in the subject area, there is something called implicit fact column. Right? Set this. There, there are three different fact tables: fact sales, dollars. Any any one column. Set any one column. Click OK. Check out. Click OK. So always your query should go through fact sales. So check in the changes. Now the same query, just go back. Close all cursors, go back. Issues equal. Okay, click on new analysis and just make a new analysis here. Uh, your customer, customer and product specific. So there is no fact involved here. Okay, so just go to your table view, change it from scrolling to content page, click OK, click on done, come here and just click on the total number of rows. It should be 500. Do you see 500? And ju just check your query. It should be through your fat sales table or orders to table. Right? So, this is how you set your implicit fact column for a particular subject area. So, I understood this, right? Uh, what, what was the issue? Why we weren't getting before? Yeah, I just changed this, uh, the content for this one, right? I gave customer and customer detail, product, product detail. So generally, even you need not to give this one also, it should work actually if you restart the services. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, this is what the change we need. Generally, you need not to do this actually. So that's why. Okay. So, yeah, we gave here, sorry, we gave customer detail and product detail. Because if it uh, multiplies with the number of records, right, your return table will give you very less number of records. Next class is security. We'll just check on that part. 